Uh, good morning and welcome to Elevens is with Hells. Thank you for joining me. Uh, special pre-record because I'm actually off on my jollies. Um, but I am here, well, here now with you. So as I said, thanks for joining us here on Creative Crafting World's YouTube channel. If you haven't already clicked subscribe, then do that. And also there's a little bell notification button that you can click. What that means is that you will get a notification every time we go live or indeed upload one of our inspirational videos. So don't forget about that. Any orders can be placed on our website www.creativecraftingworld.co.uk Also, we have a membership club if you haven't already joined. It's £10 a year. We will send you a gift when you join and you will then be entitled to a 10% discount from everything that you can buy on the website. We also have a gem system, so that means that every time you make a purchase, we will add gems, which you can then accrue. Once you get to 750 gems, you will then get a 20% discount because you'll be a diamond member. Well worth doing. Also, pop your date of birth into the details box. We'll send you a £10 voucher to spend on your birthday. Postage and packing is free on all orders over £25. Um, usual ways to pay. So we have got credit and debit cards and PayPal. And also Klarna is an option. So if that is something that interests you, do check out the T's and C's on the website for that. Uh, so I've got an absolutely amazing bunch of stars of the show today. Firstly, I can't believe the price of these because normally they're $39.99 a set. We've got some nesting dies. So I'm going to start off by showing you this one. This is the Essential Nesting Dies Volume 7. Now, as I said, normally $39.99 for one set. Today, they are just $17.99. If you're in the club, that works out at £16.20 for all of these, which I think someone's made a mistake somewhere, but I'm not going to say anything. So with volume seven, you get 28 individual dies and they're made to nest. So here's what they look like. And I tell you what, Anch, love, can we go on to the overhead, do you think? So it'd be easier for everybody to have a look. Thank you very much. Obviously, I'm not here on my own. I've got our lovely Anch directing um, and she's behaving herself. She's not actually eating any cake yet, which makes a change. Uh, notice I say the word yet. Right, so Essential Nesting Dies, volume number seven is all about the hexagons. But as ever, we do have the squares. So you've got 19 and a half centimetre and 18 and a half centimetre max with these beautiful zigzags that have got tiny, tiny little scallops on them. Then we've got the hexagons. So six sides, 5.8 inch, which is 14.7 centimetres, just shy of six inches for your largest one. And what we've done is we've gone scallop straight, scallop straight, all the way down to the tiny, tiny one that goes in the middle, which is 1.5 inch or 3.7 centimetres. Perfect if you are a quilter because cutting out hexagons by hand is not easy. These dies do cut through fabric. They'll cut through felt, they cut through craft metal, card, vellum, parchment. So not just for your card making. We've also got corners here. So you'll see you've got these two sizes of corners and you've also got the scallops and the zigzags on there. And you've also got borders. So you've got a scallop border, you've got the zigzag border and the little mats that go into the center and you've also got these extra borders here so what these do is go around the edge of your hexagons you've got one zigzag and you've got one scallop so as i said that's volume number seven um, what i tend to do is take my packaging off pop it onto the back of some card and then stick that to a magnetic sheet so check out the website as well for the magnetic sheets because i think they are in stock there for you Volume number seven. Moving on, we have got volume number eight. So let me show you this one. This is all about your tags and your labels. So here we've got four squares. Now this has got a beautiful deco ledge. 19 and a half centimetres is your largest one, down to 16 and a half centimetres, which is the smaller of the two. 
then you've got these beautiful labels right the way down to the tiny one that goes in the middle and again these are around six inches by four all the way down to half inch by 1.7 and then we've got the tags. Now the tags are really cool. You've got them in different sizes, three different sizes, but you've also got the little holes that make the tags. And these are not joined into the tags. These are separate, look. So that means you can put those holes wherever you want. So if you love your scrapbooking and you want to do lacing on the scrapbooking, these little holes are invaluable because you can literally bob them wherever. So these are what the dies look like in real life. Another one of my favourite sets, this volume eight is. You've also got this border die here, perfect for bookmarks. You've got the long labels, the short labels, and then you've got the skinny labels in there as well. So that's volume seven. As usual, they are 39.99. Today, super duper price, 17.99. If you are in the club, it works out at 16 pounds 20 for a set. Next up, we have got volume nine. So here we've got these beautiful cartouche shapes. You've also got these long borders. So let me flip this over so you can see what they look like. Again, you've got these four mats and layers, perfectly sized to go onto eight by eight cards here. And you've got the zigzag scallop on this one. So 19 and a half centimeters, the largest, down to 16 and a half centimeters here. As I said, you've got these beautiful, they're cut like a cartouche label shape here. You've also got the borders. And don't forget, these cut in as well as cutting out. So if you like doing penny sliders, these are perfect for your penny slider cards. They'll make perpetual calendars look, look fabulous as well. But let me just hold this up closer to the camera because this one here actually looks like a little pearl string. So cut out of Miricard, that would look splendid. Let me turn that over and these are what the dies look in real life. So as I said, it's like a zigzag and then a scallop and then a little zigzag and a scallop. And then you've got all of these beautiful borders. You've got the scallopy border, you've got that double scallop. And this die here is the one that makes that beautiful pearl chain. So I'll cut that one out for you later so you can have a proper little look at that. And then finally, we have another set. So this is set number 10. My personal favourite, I absolutely love this set because it is like a spider's web almost. But you can, it's so versatile is this set. Let me give that a quick flip and then you can have a proper look at it. So volume number 10, 35 dies in this set. Again, $17.99 today instead of the usual $39.99. If you're in the club, you're making a saving of 10%, so it would be $16.20. So 19 and a half centimetre squared down to 16 and a half centimetre squared. Perfect as well. Cut that out, score it, and then you've got a DL shape card. So you've got your tall skinny cards. Then, of course, the absolute beauties. These, they're like spider's webs, really, all the way down from six inches right the way down to the little one that goes into the middle, which is about half an inch, which is 1.3 centimetres. We've also given you some corners in there. So you've got these different shape corners. You've got all these beautiful layers that go within them. So let me flip this back over. And you can see you've got, it's this one, it's like, um, it's like a bracket shape, this one, the way it's formed around the edge. And you've also got, I'm gonna cut these out and show you. The alternate ones have also got an impression line on them as well. So as well as having that beautiful edge, it will also deboss a line into the card. I will show you it, I promise. So if you remember, $39.99 today, $17.99 with your club discount, it's £16.20. And you can order this by visiting our website, which is creativecraftingworld.co.uk. On the website, you'll see there's a little purple tab that says Creative Crafting World TV. If you click on that, that's actually going to take you to the page where all of these goodies are. Now, because we're actually time traveling today, this is a pre-record, I can't actually physically show you that, or I'm saying I, Anch can't show you that because nothing's loaded yet, because if we loaded it now, then like today, 
everyone would see it and then there wouldn't be anything special for the show so we have to hold back a little bit but as i said click on that little purple tab it's going to take you to the page it'll open up there'll be everything on there so all of these four die sets today 16 pounds 20 in the club i wouldn't be missing out on these uh, it's such a fabulous price it's more than half price it's crazy anyway shall we start off now i promised you that i was going to cut out and show you that pearl chain so let me grab some card i've got some white card here and i'll just cut a strip of this down so we can cut out that pearl chain and i'll also do the layer that goes with it so the the borders i've actually got two mats so I'll just cut out the one just for speed, we'll lay that one on there and then I'll run that one through. Now of course because this is a pre-record I can't talk to you unfortunately but I do hope that you're having a lovely day and I hope the weather's nice and fine. Um, it's actually today is the 29th of July. Um, so that means that at this time in the morning, it's probably what, about, was it about quarter past 11 now? Um, I'm going to be in mid-air on my way to my happy place. Sorry to rub it in and everything. Anyway, so remember what I was saying about penny sliders. Okay, this is what I mean. So you've got that line there. What you do is get a penny and then you get, whatever item you want so it's usually a little die cut or something and sandwich them in between there and then it'll slide along but perpetual calendars i think that'd be fabulous because it's got this little recess in it so you could actually move it along and it'll stay in place so i think that's kind of genius that is but the uh, that's the waste these are the actual dies so this is that beautiful pearl string look at that how delicate it is let me pop it on a black background so you can really see imagine that for christmas maybe how fabulous would that be cut out of some glitter card even because don't forget these dies do cut through loads and loads of things that's the next layer up so you can see how gorgeous these borders are that's why i love them all i keep saying oh yeah that's my favorite i shouldn't have favorites but how gorgeous is that so that is from number nine so let me just remind you that's collection number nine there if you're wanting that one and then the next one that I shall cut out for you is this one so I want to cut out one of these tags so I'll pick this one up actually let's cut them all out because I've got three of those little holes that we can use so I'll bob them on to my magnetic sheet and then I've got the little holes so all I'm doing is just place them where I want them so if you don't want that first layer of tag to have a hole in it you don't have to put it on there then we've got this one isn't it great that you can just put the hole wherever you want if you wanted tags so say you're doing a color swatch or something of all your inks and you want to put it on a book ring you could actually put the hole there so it'd be the fat edge that would have the book ring. So it'd be a little bit sturdier. It's just such a good idea. So let's move that one up there. I've got that where I want it. And then just grab some card. And I haven't even told you that we've got all of our card stock on offer as well, have I? So I'll tell you that in a minute once this has stopped cutting. Because I know it's quite noisy, isn't it? But yeah, Linda's Brick which is the 250 GSM, 250 sheets of white card. That's what I'm using to cut out, so you can see how beautifully this card cuts as well. So now this is almost done. There we go. We can have a little look at these die cuts as well. So I'm going to lift that off. And then I've got this one. I'm thinking, you know when you do your craft fairs, that could be like the fancy price tag, couldn't it? So that's your little one. And then the next size up is that one. And then there's the big daddy, which is that size. And they're fab, aren't they? These tags are just, you're going to use them for so many things. So 
the versatility of having that little hole that can move around as well is really cool. That's why I always use the magnetic sheet because then the tiny dies, you don't want to lose them. And if they're stuck on, if you leave them on the cardboard packaging, that tape often loses its sticky and you end up losing the little dies. So I always recommend use the magnetic sheet. These are tools. These are going to last you forever if you look after them. So look after them and pop them onto some magnetic sheets. Right, there we go. So that one is volume number eight. If you want that one, just have a quick look at it, just to remind you of what it looks like. Volume number eight for that one. And then I have got volume number 10. And as I said, shouldn't have favourites, but I have. And what I want to show you with this one is something a little bit different. So I've got some of the white card from the brick and I've folded it in half. And what I'm going to do is make a card blank using this. So I can just choose the die that I want. So I want this one. I could go bigger actually if I wanted to. But remember what I said about you've got the cut line and then you've also got the impression line and that's on every alternate die with the straight edges and all, you know your squares and also your fancy ones, your nesties. And then just hang that over the edge. So can you see that's just over the top of that card there because that's going to be my hinge. So where you've made your fold, hang that over the top, tape it in place and then we can run this through the machine. And such is the quality of the dies, they are quite happy chomping through 500 GSM. They don't have any problem with that and I'm getting 500 GSM from two sheets of the 250 GSM. I'll show you that in a moment. Once, you say get all excited Paul and think oh I've got to show you all the die cuts because they're fab. You're going to love them. If you haven't already got them then now would be the time to get them because I don't think they're going to be cheaper than this. Such a good deal. Right so let's open this up and then I'm going to pull that tape off. You can see straight away how that's cut through. I don't need to add a craft knife to it. I don't need to put my scissors on it because it's more than happy chomping through that. And then I can show you what this looks like. So I'm wondering, is our ranch going to be able to zoom? Please. Yeah, she is. She's a clever girl. Can you see what I mean about it having that impression? So each alternate die has got that impression in it. It's just that little bit of extra detail. And how fabulous this looks when you blend a little bit of distress ink around it as well. It does look gorge. Right, next we have got cardstock so I want to talk you through the cardstock so you can have a, a proper look at the other bargains that we've got today the other goodies starting off with Linda's black card so here we have got 100 sheets of the best black card now when I say the best I'm not just saying it just for the sake of it this is my black card that I use and I won't use any other it is true black it's beautifully smooth it's absolutely glorious to work with with inks if you like your metallic watercolors it doesn't leach that color through so you know that you're getting that true black and because it's black to the core it means if you do die cutting or if you're using it in the electronic cutter you're not going to get any fluffy edges and it's got a low chalk content as well so 100 sheets of two 200 GSM black card. Normally this would be $17.99. Today it is, <coughs> excuse me, £10. Moving on to the brick. So this is that white card that I've been cutting out and it's affectionately known as the brick because look at it. It's massive. There are 250 sheets here. Beautifully smooth 250 GSM white card. Now I use this as I would use my black card absolutely everything die cutting uh, alcohol markers on this because it doesn't soak the ink through it doesn't drink the ink also unusually distress inks adding water because normally you'd need two different card types with this you don't it's just the one card you've seen me using it to make card blanks you've seen me die cutting it and it's such good quality it's the way it's milled so that normally would cost you 24.99 today it is just 15 pounds right so that's your white card and then of course my favorite 
the craft lion brown so your craft lion brown 280 gsm you've got 50 sheets here beautifully smooth oh i love this stuff do you know i might even take a sheet on holiday with me because i love it so much and uh, can you imagine getting a tan that color i'd be lovely wouldn't i yeah, I might have to try for that colour tan. So beautiful if you want to make it into uh, construction. So box bases, if you're making little handbags. Also stamping on it, stamp and then emboss with white embossing powder. Looks so classy. Normally this would be £7.99 today. It is just £5. And again, check out the website because it's on there. Then finally, we've got the Woodstock 225 GSM, 45 sheets. You've got 15 colours and three of each. Carbon balanced cardstock, which is always really important to us crafters. You've got your reds and your oranges, your neutrals, that beautiful raspberry, the lemon, the blue, the pink. Oh, the lime green. <clears throat> we've flipped past that. Then we've got some more neutrals in the white and the mushroom and that lovely soft pink. Then the graphite, the mint and the teal. So normally that would be $12.99 for that card collection. Today it is $7.79. So if you do want to place an order, you can hop on over to the website. It's creativecraftingworld.co.uk. And like I said, on there, there is a little tab that you just tap that. All the details for everything that is on this show will be loaded for you. So just have a little look, see what you want to buy. Okay, so before I go, because I'm going to keep this quite short, we're only going to have half hour shows for the pre-records because the simple reason, I'm just going to be talking at you for an hour and you're all going to be nodding off and Anne will get earache because I've got no one to talk to because obviously it's not live so I can't have a chat. I can't even ask you a question of the day, but I will do you a little demo. So I've got some stuff already prepped here. So I've got a bag full of goodies and what i want to do is i'm using volume number 10 for this and i want to show you just how you're using your dies to be in the background rather than a focal point as often we use them this is where these little workhorses really come into their own so you can see all those elements that i've got whoops there's a bit gone on the floor I'll find that in a minute. I'll just move these out of the way. So I've got one of our six by eight cards here, and this is one of the landscape ones, also on offer today. So our card and envelope packs will be on the website, but I want to use it as a tent fold. And what I've done is I have cut out some strips of white card from the brick and that lovely craft lion card. And I'm gonna make a frame for my design to sit in. So let's start to put this together just by adding that little bit of tape to the back. And then we'll just place that one on there, like so. So it's two and a half centimetres for the white and then the craft is three centimetres wide. Now, one thing I do want to show you, you know what, usually if you're using a tape roller on craft card, you find that the fibres stick to the tape. So the actual tape itself ends up inside the shell. What happens with this is it stays on the card because it's got that beautiful smooth effect. Can you see how that's just being applied there? It's not rubbing off at all, which is a proper bonus. So we've got that which is going to go on there so this is just making me a little l-shaped frame and then i've got that bit which is going to go across like so and then the dies here they are these are the ones that i've used now what you need to do is just move them around until you've got them set because you've got pointy bits and curved bits so just give them a little wiggle until you've got them where you want them and then add some tape to the back of that and pop that into place. So that's your craft card and then the white card. And the white card has got the impression in it, so it's really showing how beautiful that is. And then I would like some 3D foam. So I've got a couple of strips here, which I'm just gonna bob on the back of this. And what this is gonna do is just lift it up, give my design a little bit of depth. 
So it is important the glues that you use also, if you're using a wet glue, use one that dries completely clear uh, because if you use one that, that's got a bit glossy to it, if you've over glued it will stand out. So this I'm going to lay around about here. And then I've taken one of our sentiment dies and cut it from the black card because I like sentiments that really stand out. This one says Forever Friends. So whilst I'm being quite tonal with the colours here where I've got the craft line and I've got the white, the sentiment, if I'd done it in craft line, it would have got a little bit lost in the design. So just having this pop of colour makes it really stand out. So that bit, I'm just going to bob into the middle and then press that down. So that's now in place. Next, what I've done is I've made a nice flower. So again, using those same papers. And I'm just going to pinch that up just to give it some dimension. And then use my pokey tool. And this is just going to curve this over just to add that shape. So this is just layers and layers of a die cut flower. And you see how that's just really perked that up. So the flower's gonna go around about here. And then I've taken some more, this is from the Autumn Wreath Doily Dye Embellishment Collection. So I'm not sure if we've actually got any left. I think we might have a couple on the website. So do have a look if you are wanting some little embellishments and stuff. But yeah, I think it's there. Then I've got this little one, this little frond, which I'm just shaping using the heat from my thumb and my fingers, like so. Got a little extra bit there, look. And then there's this little one, which is just going to go around like that. So what I tend to do when I've got all my embellishments, I'm just going to start to lay them onto my card, thinking whereabouts do I want that to go? Do I want that there? And it's just a case of having a little play with the placement of everything. Then I've got these little berries. And you can see I've been cutting these from the white and the craft just to keep it nice and tonal. I've got that little branch. And then another little one there. And then add the flower to the middle. Does that look okay? Yeah, that's quite pretty. I'm happy with that. So now what I'd do, if I was at home, I'd take a picture of it so I don't forget where anything's going. But if you can't do that, then a way around it is leave everything more or less where you've placed it and put the glue on the card rather than putting the glue on the item that you're wanting to stick down. And then you can pick up your bits and bobs that you're wanting to stick and just move them in slightly. So everything is now starting to get glued down into that bob blob of glue. There we go. There's that other little bit there. And that little leaf I'm going to leave just for a moment because that's going to go under the flower. Then I can just add some more glue there. And this is just glue gel. It's the pin flare glue gel that I always use. And this is really forgiving as well. It gives you that little bit of extra time when you are sticking stuff down. If you're using just a flat wet glue, you've got to move quickly. Whereas this takes a little while to cure. So that flower can then go into the middle. But what I've also got here is that, you remember that little pearl chain that we cut out from volume number eight, nine? I've forgotten. Let's have a look. Volume number nine. How could I forget? Volume number nine, that pearl chain. I'm going to pinch that in half and I'm just going to bob that in. So instead of having it as a border, it's now become an embellishment. Then I've got my lovely little flower. We'll add glue gel to the back of that and bob that in place. And then I can just add that little one there just to poke from underneath and just move things around. You can do that because that pin flare is so forgiving. And then finally, I've got some little flowers and butterflies, which I've cut out. So these are just the centers that you'd normally use for flowers. But what I've done, 
get rid of the bits. What I've done with these is turn them into tiny little flowers that are going to make a little add that little bit of interest. So we can add one there. And then I've got that one. I think one of them, because I did have four, I think one of them, that's the one that flew off into the bin. So I'll retrieve that later. And we'll add that one there. And then there's the little one. That one can just go on there. Like so. And then finally, a couple of little diddy butterflies. <clears throat> so I've one there, and then I've got this one, which can just be perched down here on a berry. And there we go. So that's how I've used those nesting dies, but actually given them a little bit of purpose so they're they're holding that sentiment. Okay. So just a quick recap, chaps. We have got four of our nesting die collections here. We've got volume seven, volume eight, volume nine, and indeed volume 10. And that's volume 10. That's the one that I've just been using there on that demo. So let me just quickly show you them again before I bid you good day and remind you of the price. So here we've got volume number seven, which are the hexagons. Volume number eight, these lovely, is that volume eight? Yep, that's volume number eight, which are the ones with the labels and the tags. Volume nine, these are the ones with those beautiful pearl strings and this gorgeous cartoon shape. And then volume number 10, that's the shape that you've just seen me use previously. That's the one where I made the card blank from. And these normally will be $39.99 and today they are on a really cracking deal. So today they're $17.99. If you are in our club and you've got your 10% discount, that will work out at £16.20. That is a lot of metal for your money. Okay, so I'm going to say goodbye now and thank you for joining me. I'm really sorry that there's no interaction, no question of the day. No groany jokes from our Kevin, but I hope you're all having a fabulous time. Um, I will be back with more pre-records whilst I'm away, so please do join me. The next one will be the 3rd of August, and I've got a really cute little kit to show you on the 3rd of August. So, again, thanks for joining us. Have a fabulous day, and I'll see you soon.